vocals, guitars, drums, bass, bagpipes. Whatever it is that you're mixing, one of the most important steps is EQ. Balancing EQ between potentially lots of different tracks isn't easy. Thankfully, GarageBand for Mac is well equipped for the task. Hey, it's Patrick from the GarageBand Guide. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at using EQ in GarageBand for Mac. You have a couple of different options open to you when it comes to EQ in GarageBand. In this video, I'm going to focus on GarageBand's excellent built-in visual EQ. You can access it from the EQ option in the plugins menu, or there's a dedicated window for the visual EQ inside Smart Controls. Just click on the EQ tab there. There are a number of different controls to work with here. This is a visual EQ, so one of the most important features is the analyzer. When activated, the analyzer gives you a real-time image of the frequencies and their volume in your track. This is great for pinpointing overpowering or weak frequencies to work with. Speaking of frequencies, the left hand side is your lower or bass frequencies, the right hand side is your higher frequencies. These are your high pass on the left hand side and low pass on the right filters. Using these will cut out any frequencies below or above the point you set. So if I add a high pass filter and set it to cut off around 500 Hz, all frequencies below this value won't be heard. Using the analyzer, it'll mean any frequencies in the red area will be emitted from the track. These are shelf filters. They apply an equal volume or gain change beyond the selected frequency you choose. These are peaking filters. You can use these to make targeted cuts or boosts to a particular frequency range that you've selected. This is an EQ point. They correspond by colour to the filter types at the top of the window that we just covered. You can click on and manipulate them by dragging and dropping. The Q value will adjust the width of the frequency range that your selected EQ point will affect. You can change the Q value by selecting an EQ point and clicking on it, then clicking on the edges of the frequency range. On a high or low pass filter, this will adjust the filter's incline. Like most of GarageBand's built-in plugins, the Visual EQ has a load of presets that you can use as a starting point to work from. They're split into different instrument categories like drums, keyboards and guitars, as well as some mastering presets and some handy issue specific presets as well. Here's an example of me putting some of these presets to work and some of the tweaks that I've made to make them fit better with the tracks I've applied them to.
All right, now that you've got to grips with using GarageBand's visual EQ, watch this playlist next for more mixing tips and tricks.